right, so we're going to do some resistance band exercises for legs and butt. Before you do this workout, make sure you've done a warm up. We're going to grab your band, putting it around above your knees. These bands are great for lower body because they actually stick and they don't roll. We're going to go 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. We're going to start with a basic squat. So from here, you want to send your hips back, tummy pulled in, shoulders down and back, keep your chest lifted and coming up. As you go down, make sure you keep your knees pushing out against the band. Don't let them come in. Let's go. In three, two, one. Breathing out. As you come up, make sure you squeeze, pulling up your quads, squeeze your tummy, dropping down, chest lifted. Don't lower down your whole body. Keep that shoulders above your hips. Breathing out, 30 seconds and 15 seconds to rest. <sighs> Tummy pulled in, this is kind of a warm up set. Breathing in and out, that's it. <sighs> Tummy pulled in, let's go for 10 seconds. Breathing in and out, pulling those abs in, scooping them away from the floor. For five, three, two, one, very nice, 15 seconds to rest. Standing on your left leg. We're gonna tap this leg out to the side and back. So if I come a little forward, we're going out and back. Standing leg stays dead still. Shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in, let's go. When you do this, make sure that the standing leg stays dead still. Don't let it roll in, be pulled by the band. So actually activating the standing leg mostly. This leg is just moving. While we do Pilates, everything becomes a full body workout. Shoulders squeezed down and back. Tummy pulled in. That's it. 15 seconds to go. Whew. The standing leg is burning. Use your breath. Every time you breathe out, make sure you're scooping in those abs. Lift up your chest. We've got five, three, two, one, and relax. Good workout, other side, 15 seconds to rest. Getting ready, send those hips back, tummy pulled in. Let's go in three, two, one. Tap out and back. Squeezing those shoulders down and back. Keeping your abs pulled in away from the floor. Standing legs stay stationary. Make sure it doesn't roll in or out. That's it. Beautiful. After this, we're going to come down onto the floor. 20 seconds. Keep that chest lifted, shoulders down, tummy in. Standing leg stays dead still. Awesome job. 10. Whew. 5. 3. 2. One, and relax, coming down onto your hands and knees. From here, you're gonna keep the band for now around the knees, hands on the floor, making sure you slide those shoulder blades away from the ears. Often they try and creep up, you wanna pull them down. Hands directly under your shoulders, knees under your hips, pulling that tummy in away from the floor, back is nice and flat. And from here, we're gonna go into a fire hydrant. Let's go, leg out to the side. Now with this, I want you to control it down. Breathing out, make sure it's nice and slow. Remember those shoulder blades pulling down, breathing in and out. Every time you breathe out, I want you to focus on pulling in that belly button away from the floor. Slide those shoulders down. Great job. 15 seconds. Then we're gonna turn into the other side. That's it. Five, Whew. three, two, one. Take it back, have a little stretch. And let's get ready for the other side. I'm gonna turn around this way so I've got some space. Setting it up, shoulders down and back. Tummy pulled in, breathing out, let's go. Breathing out as you lift that leg. 
perfect. Keeping that perfect form. Shoulders pulling down, tummy pulling in. Breathing out nice and slow. Oof, 20 seconds to go. Kills me every time. Nice work. 10. Oof. Your standing leg, the leg that's staying down often burns more, especially when it's the second side. Five. Three, two, one. And relax it down, very nice. All right, from here, we're gonna change bands. You're gonna take it off your knees. If you had the option of having a thinner, smaller band, this is when it's useful. If not, you can use your thick band, just a little bit tougher. You're gonna pop the band on the front of your feet. So it's here. In the same position, shoulders down the back, tummy pulled in. Now we're gonna kick this leg out behind us. I want you to aim at kicking with the heel. So you wanna kick that heel towards the wall behind you. Make sure you lengthen that leg. Don't point your foot. I want the action coming from here. So you're trying to get this heel through the wall. Let's get ready to go. In three, two, one. Make sure your feet are tucked under at the back so that the band stays solid. And think of lengthening that heel. Tummy pulled in. So this works the hamstring, breathing out. All the while focusing, shoulders, tummy, long leg, lengthen, keep going. That's it, Woo, 15 seconds. Then we're gonna change sides. Tummy pulled in, 10. Slow and controlled, making sure you finish the movement, stretch that leg out. Three, two, one, and relax. Beautiful, we're gonna to go to the other side. So for me, this side might be a little trickier with my hammy injury. Let's see how we go. Shoulders down, tummy in, and kick. Perfect. You go at your own pace. I want it nice and slow, lengthen that leg away. Breathing out as you kick the wall behind you with the heel. That's it. I'm gonna carry on the rest without the band. You keep going. Breathing out, let me change legs so you can still see what I'm doing. Tummy pulled in. Nice. Keep going. We've got 10 seconds left. Breathing out for five, three, two, one, and relax it down. Take it into a child's pose, have a little stretch. Beautiful, all right, we're gonna go back into some more glute, taking your band, putting it around your knees, just above your knees. That's it. And you're gonna come and lie on your back. We're gonna go into our glute bridge circuit. I've got bands lying everywhere. So on your back, hands by your side. I want your feet nice and wide so that you've got pressure on the band. To get the most out of the band, have it right in the crease of your knee and push out with those knees. Breathing out, let's go. 45 seconds, pelvic curl up and down. Now when you're here, I want you to roll through that spine. I'm gonna lift my arms so you can see. Pushing through the heels, remember the knees. Curling down. Breathing out as you push. Tummy pulled in all the time. You want to imagine a piece of string tied from your coccyx to the ceiling. And it pulls it up to start and pulls it down to finish. We've got five seconds and we're going to hold it up there. Three, two, one. Hold it here. Push the knees open and close. Breathing out. Now when you do this, you want to keep your hips dead still. That's it. Knees open and close. Keep going. So from here, I'm keeping my belly button pulled in. And because my knees are wide to start with, I'm working that end range. 
keep that pelvis tilted tummy pulled in nice job guys keep going we've got 15 seconds breathing in and i'll tilt the tailbone nice work five three two one curling it all the way down hug those knees into the chest rocking side to side and let's come onto your side rolling onto my right side you want your knees bent up in front of you feet at 90 degrees in this position rest your head on your arm lengthen that waist so you want your top hip in line with your underneath hip you might get a little tunnel under your waist you want to keep that pull the belly button in now from here lift those feet we're going to go into our clam let's go open and close now with this you want to imagine you've got the wall right behind you so you're keeping those hips facing forward tummy pulled in breathing out every time you open push as wide as you can pull the belly button in nice you can have your hand on your hip bone fingers on the inside to feel those abs great job 15 seconds to go tummy pulled in nice work guys we got one more exercise to go then we finish with our little glute butt workout five three two one and relax it down well done good in between just to rest our butt for one second we're just going to add in some abs tummy pulled in legs up in tabletop using the band to push against we're going to go into our leg swaps you want to hinge from the hip making sure from here you're not just lowering that leg you're pushing against the band this leg stays still tilting that coccyx to your nose don't let your pelvis move and let's go tummy pulled in breathing in and out make sure you can feel the mat with every level of your vertebra as you go so you're not losing your connection here tilting that coccyx to your nose pulling your belly button in that's it breathing in and out make sure as you breathe you suck those abs in deeper while you're lying down you still want to focus on those shoulder blades pulling down and back every level of your spine touching the mat tummy pulled in we've got five three two one well done rolling up and sitting let's change sides clam one last time nearly done a nice little power butt workout lying on your side knees in front of your hips feet together lengthen that top hip tummy pulled in lifting up the feet and let's go breathing out as you open those knees keep your hips facing forward imagine your back is pressed against the wall you can use the wall if you want to lifting up the feet makes it harder to roll back scoop those abs in beautiful job 15 seconds as you breathe out pull those abs in deeper feel the burn in the butt nice work five three two one and relax it down well done coming onto your back let's stretch out the butt take the band off the legs lying on that back from here take your right ankle cross it onto your left knee we're going to reach in between grab behind your thigh our figure of four stretch and pull that thigh in towards you now from here i find i don't get quite enough stretch i'm putting my arms over and pulling them in a little bit more you should feel this on the leg that's crossed over that butt always remember to breathe out use your breath to try and relax the muscles you never want to fight a stretch you just want to relax into it easier said than done i know 
Let's change legs, left ankle onto right thigh. Knee out, bring the thigh in towards you. That's it. Try and keep your head relaxed. And you wanna feel the stretch here. If you want to, you can push that knee out a little bit. Use your elbow. And remember to breathe out. Awesome job, rolling up into sitting. Thank you guys, a little power butt leg workout. We'll see you soon.